All right, here at Oshkosh 2023, stopping off at the Dynon booth, and it seems like they always have something new, and we do. So, uh, Mike, introduce yourself and what's new for this year. I'm Michael Schofield. I'm Dynon's Director of Marketing. Um, this is a product that I think a lot of people have been expecting and hoping for, and uh, this week we are excited to release it. This is the uh, D30 touchscreen electronic flight display. Um, a lot of people that have known us and followed us for a while are familiar with the EFIS D10A. The first one shipped in 2003 and 4. Um, it has been on sale continuously in a couple of forms for about 20 years. There are thousands and thousands of uh, pilots that fly behind it, especially in the experimental world. It's been cert a part of our certified offering. One of them even went to space on Spaceship One on the, the XPRIZE flights on the Burt Rutan Paul, uh, designed and Paul Allen funded uh, spaceship. But, you know, what was uh, amazingly innovative and kind of changed experimental avi avionics tw uh, 20 years ago was you know, becoming a little bit mature, and so this is essentially the replacement. What's a little bit different about the D30 is the D10A started as an experimental product which gained a lot of capability over, over time and then got certified, and this is kind of starting from the other side. This is a product that um, the D10A recently has been exclusively the backup in our certified panels. So we have our Skyview HDX system, which is available in both certified and experimental form. And in the certified version, we have to have an independent backup. And so that's been the EFIS D10A. And you don't want something that's taken up your entire panel of just doubling that one thing. That's right. And of course, you can have multiple displays and flight instruments on, 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 on both displays. But it's really nice to have something that's completely independent, standby, not connected to anything else. And so that's what the D30 is. The, uh, the D30, therefore, has the features that the certified uh, kit requires, which is essentially airspeed, altitude, attitude, slip skid ball, vertical speed, and turn and bank. So some of the other features that experimental uh, customers uh, have come to know from the D10A are omitted from this product. So it doesn't have heading, it doesn't have connectivity, it doesn't have an HSI. And for the D30, that's going to be the product and how it stays. So um, while we, on, on other product lines, there's an evolution through software and different versions, the D30 is going to remain the D30. So it's becoming kind of like a, a basic primary instrument. Yeah. So yeah, essentially, well, it's it, we think of it as a as a as a backup set of instruments. So it has all of the capabilities of the primary instruments. And then so the the question that home builders might be asking is, is there going to be a version that's different or that has some of those other features that maybe this um, doesn't have that our other products have had? And the answer is, you know, we're uh, we're not sure yet. Uh, this could you know, be a foundation for a product line or we might just uh, keep the D30. There is an experimental version of the D30 available. Um, in limited quantities. Uh, we're basically over the supply chain crisis stuff, but uh, as we start up the production of the D30, we want to make sure we have enough to serve the certified market where it is required. Um, I kind of skipped over uh, a little bit about like what is the D30. Uh, you know, we talked about the features and functions, but over the D10A, uh, it's over twice as bright. It's got a larger four-inch screen, super high resolution, very crisp, uh, pleasure to, to fly behind. It's really compact, uh, whereas the D10A, again, in its day, was amazingly small. By today's standards, its 8-inch depth is a little bit big. This is only 3.7 inches deep, super compact. It mounts differently as well. The D10A, if you've ever installed one, you have to kind of get behind the panel with a socket, and that can be a little bit annoying to uninstall and reinstall, whereas the D30 uh, has a mounting ring that you attach to the back of the panel. You then slide it in from the front, and then there's a single screw in the center bottom bezel uh, that cinches it down. So if you ever need to do work behind the panel or remove it for any reason, it takes moments. You don't have to um, you know, get underneath the panel, so that's really nice. Yeah, any, any chance we get, we don't have to get our arms way behind there and get cut up by improperly cut zip ties or something is a good thing. Absolutely. The other thing I'd mention is it is a touch screen, um, but because it doesn't have a whole lot of um, you know, secondary features, there's not much to do. You can adjust the brightness and turn on the, the auto dimming uh, sensor uh, through the menu. But in operation, mostly what you're doing is adjusting the altimeter setting, touch the altimeter setting, you can go plus minus, or there's kind of a virtualized wheel that you can just scroll to, to set that quickly. 
Awesome. And going back to, uh, you mentioned the screen and the brightness of it. I've been now to several experimental builders and even like quick build centers that are utilizing diamond products. And, and I'm quite surprised that this is a very glossy, glassy finish to it. But even in direct sun, you know, when they pull the airplane outside, we're doing the interview. It's, it's really bright and it's very vivid. So I don't know what the magic is to make that happen, but whatever you're doing, it does work. Yeah. Lots of light is the answer. You know, um, our phones all have, you know, LEDs and, and uh, LCDs that are backlit and so are our screens and what we do when we're designing and engineering is there's just a lot more light things like phones and tablets are you know although they can be used outdoors you know you're, you're often kind of looking for the right angle that's away from the sun avionics are always used outdoors or in the presence of light and so we're thinking on a different plane in terms of how much light you need to get out there. So even that in our industry has evolved over time. The outgoing EFIS D10A um, was sunlight readable, but a frequent uh, request was like, do you have something that's brighter? And then as we came out with Skyview, and those are completely sunlight readable, and basically nobody ever asks for more light from them, the D30 is on that same plane. It is uh, over twice as bright uh, as the D10A and uh, matches the, the HDX. We are partnering with great companies like Dynon Avionics at Dynon.com, AirTech Coatings at AirTechCoatings.com, Clemens Insurance at ClemensInsurance.net, South Mississippi Light Aircraft at FlySMLA.com, Foxtrot 95, Calhoun County Airport at FlyFoxtrot95.com, Edge Performance at EdgePerformance.no. Take a moment to go visit their websites at the links found below in the description of this video. And visit our website at experimentalaircraftchannel.com for events, our video library arranged in easy to find playlists on specific topics, and so much more. Awesome, so what is, uh, I'm a, obviously we, me, talk a lot more experimental than certified. What is a, a really common package that you guys are seeing for for the home builder? Um, is it like literally all over the place or like, you know, one HDX and this, or like what's the common package you're seeing? So um, home builders are unique um, in both their aircraft types, you know, everything from Zenith, like you're building up to the, you know, cross country RV. So you have everybody that's, from, that's doing, let's say around the patch, $100 hamburger, $200 hamburger these days, all the way up to your full IFR, almost you know using it as a transportation machine. So that really means it varies. People will go with, um, and, and speaking of Zenith, you know Sebastian has all of his videos in his demo aircraft. He has a single HDX and and you know some other stuff, uh, you know that the the switch gear and whatnot. And so for VFR aircraft, a single HDX by itself is enough. And if if your mission doesn't include you know let's say a ton of long cross countries um, or IFR. Even if you had a failure of your electrical system or the display itself, you know you've got eyes and ears, and you know maybe you're not flying into towered airports. On the other side, if you have uh, a cross-country machine, two displays, multiple Atahars, uh, you know all of the trimmings, an independent backup. So we really do see uh, um, you know the, 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 a wide gamut. What's also nice about Skyview is. Once you have the display, you can add capabilities. So whether that's the autopilot, the transponder, comm radio. And so some people will start out, um, especially on the lighter end of uh, experimental aviation, with something that is kind of the bones and then add some of those, um, you know, th those advanced capabilities as they, as they progress. And you just have to punch in the hole in your instrument panel and expand your, uh, your horizons. Yeah. Some people will even cut their instrument panel with an extra hole for, let's say, a second display add a cover plate and then come back to it later. That's not that uncommon. All right, obviously this is probably the biggest show of the year, but there's a few more left. Where will you be to be able to display this stuff around the United States or the world? Yeah, this is the apex for sure. Uh, there's nothing bigger than Oshkosh. Uh, let's see, we will be, we'll have some folks over in France at the Blois Air Show for our international customers. Uh, we will be at the Zenith fly-in. We will be at the AOPA um, Frederick, Maryland uh, show. There's a couple others. If you go to Dynon.com, we have a full list of uh, events throughout for the rest of the year. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks for doing a quick tour and update on the D30. And check out uh, more cool things at Dynon.com. And, you know, there's a lot of people, again, in our space using this product. So you'll see it more and more in the videos.